ET phone home with the point-to-point -point VPN protocol and Cisco's small business routers. Okay, small business owners and everybody with a sophisticated network in their home, listen up. When you are out on the road, wouldn't you like to have a free, secure, powerful connection all the way into the interior of your LAN as if you could bypass your router so that you could see and access everything exactly as if you were in the office? I'm not just talking about accessing one computer here. I mean all of your network printers, your file servers, your router configuration menus, your print servers, your FTP servers, your web servers, your Samba shares, everything. And wouldn't it be especially sweet if you could have this kind of powerful access even if your main computers were switched off? And what if you could use public email with confidence, even across a public Wi-Fi connection, knowing that all your local traffic was encrypted to hide it from prying eyes within Wi-Fi range? Wouldn't that be nice? You know you want this, but it had better be safe. We wouldn't want to give unauthorized or unidentified people this kind of powerful access. Well, it is possible using VPN, or Virtual Private Network Technology. Now, there are basically two kinds of VPNs. One is a site-to-site -site VPN. These can merge two entire LANs for all of their users simultaneously across the worldwide internet permanently or, or for a long period of time. And two are remote access VPNs that allow individual remote computers to access all of the resources of a single LAN during a single authenticated work session. Today, I'll be talking about that second option, a remote access VPN. The technology for remote access VPNs today is dominated by Microsoft's implementation of the point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, also known as PPTP. This is a set of rules, a kind of a gentleman's agreement, under which data streams can be automatically encrypted and decrypted on the fly as needed for safe transport across the worldwide internet. Now, PPTP is not perfect. Various security flaws have been found that significantly diminish the work an attacker would need to expend to bypass it. It'll never be strong enough for use in the military or for banking uh, or, to or to protect against dedicated attackers that are intent on capturing highly valuable data. But if it is properly configured and appropriately managed, then routine observers, passers-by, and casual attackers will conclude that your traffic is far harder to figure out and compromise than almost anybody else's. You won't look like an easy target, and you'll be left with, and you'll be left alone by anybody that isn't specifically after you. Only you can be the judge of the amount of security you need. But for many people, carefully managed PPTP has proven to be good enough, and it's readily available. Every version of Microsoft Windows since late 1985 has included a free PPTP client that gets you halfway there. So if you're on the road with a Microsoft Windows laptop or similar computer, you won't need to pack any special equipment or software. Free PPTP clients are also available for Macintosh, Linux, and Android equipment. Now, the other half of a PPTP setup requires a PPTP server somewhere in the LAN of your small business or home. Various free PPTP servers are available. Working together, a PPTP client and a PPTP server can automatically route, transmit, receive, encrypt, and decrypt your internet traffic back and forth, applying it to your LAN exactly as if it had originated there. One of the best and most convenient settings for setups to, is to buy a router that has PPTP server logic permanently built into its firmware. That way, even if some or all of your main computers are switched off, you can still get into and out of your LAN as long as your router is on. Today, I want to talk to you about my experience with Cisco's RV042 small business router and its use as my PPTP server. Thanks for watching this clip. If you are watching all of our clips just on YouTube, you are missing out on a lot of the very best stuff because this clip is part of a huge library. There are thousands of clips here at AskMrWizard.com related to this and similar subjects that will help you become the master of your own technology in your home or small business. This clip can be found in context with other related clips, related text, and our forums where we answer questions. You'll also find advertisements from vendors that sell things related to this study. Please support them and support us. We appreciate your help. From YouTube, it's very easy to get to our website. Just click on the link at the very beginning of YouTube's descriptive text.